Okay, so now I'm going to talk about different types of variables. So, you know, first of all, what is a variable? Well, a variable is a property that can take on many values. Like, for example, age is a variable because it can take on many different values, like 18, 49, 72, and so on. Gender is also a variable that can take on two different values, male or female. And place, like, you know, in a foot race, is another variable because it can take on values such as first, second, third, and so on. Now notice that variables are always spoken of in the singular. Like for example, age is a variable, but ages is, is not a variable. So keep that in mind. Now, once you get into variables, we can classify them into two major things. We can talk about quantitative variables and qualitative variables, which are also called categorical variables. So quantitative variables are measured numerically. With measures of quantitative variables, you can do things like add and subtract and multiply and divide and get a meaningful result. Like in the previous example, age was a quantitative variable. Because, you know, if someone is 22 and someone's 19, the person who's 22 is three years older. That difference is meaningful because it's a quantitative variable. Now, qualitative variables or categorical variables are, there. well, they allow for the classification based on some characteristic. With measurements of qualitative variables, you cannot do things like add and subtract or multiply and divide and get a meaningful result. Like for example, gender is a qualitative variable, gender being male or female. You cannot add or subtract from either of those things and say male is two more than female or something like that because it wouldn't make any sense. Now, when we talk about quantitative variables, we can further classify those into discrete variables and continuous variables. So a discrete variable is a quantitative variable with a finite number of values. Like for example, imagine you rolled a six-sided die four times and measured how many times you rolled an even number. Your possible outcomes would be you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now continuous variables are quantitative variables with an infinite number of values, like temperature for example. Temperature can take on an infinite number of values, like 80 degrees or 80.01 or 80.00505, whatever degrees, just it can stretch out infinitely. In the previous example where we were rolling the die, we were, we were limited to whole numbers like 0, 1, and 2. You couldn't roll a 1.5, which is what made that discrete, whereas this is continuous because we have an infinite number of possibilities. So here are a couple questions for review. What kind of a variable is marital status? Now think of the kind of things you could get. You could get single, married, divorced, widowed. That sounds kind of categorical. So that's a qualitative slash categorical variable because it can take on values such as married, widowed, and divorced. Now, song length, what kind of variable is song length? Song length is quantitative variable. It can take on values such as 180 seconds, 189.2, 210.0039, which also makes it continuous because it can take on an infinite number of values. So from this, you should you know, get what a variable is, know the difference between quantitative and qualitative variables, and also understand the distinction between discrete and continuous variables.